Guys, you're not here, but I'm showing you what we have here. This is the fourth annual symposium. We're back at another table, a sponsor that has come to actually help out and help bring education to all the technicians who have shown up. And I just want to give you a little time to talk about what you have, what you have to offer to the industry, and why why you're here. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Great. Yeah, so I'm the CEO of SmartAC.com, and uh, we make a, a really simple, low-cost fault detection platform for residential air conditioning. Okay. Um, so the sensors are really easy to deploy, one on the supply vent, one on the return vent, one on the evaporator pan, just to understand the health of the system for everything cooling and heating. Um, so that's the what. Okay. The why is... Uh, why in the world are you here at a symposium yeah. in Florida? <laughs> well, there's a lot of people here are, are trying to find out how to... Uh, how understanding health of systems and diagnosing and fault detection and how that works can impact the business. Yep. And of course, we're we're very focused on on that as well. So okay. mostly around how to use this technology to bolster selling maintenance agreements. Yeah. Um, understanding how to make them more efficient. Okay. Potentially using monitoring only as a solution when customers say no to maintenance to still kind of have the eyeballs and the relationship. Um, so everything we we focus on is how can we use a new technology at a, at a low cost point to be able to help people acquire and retain more customer relationships. So you said low cost and easy installation. Show me the installation. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, what so, is it? So there's a couple of accessories just okay. in case it isn't as simple as this with magnets, but many applications it's just as simple as putting the, uh, the, magnet putting the magnet sensor okay. on there. Nice. So that's the comfort sensor that helps with... Boom. Yeah, it's super, it's super easy. Love it. And okay. then one goes in the return vent, so that's our filter sensor. Okay. Um, and so that kind of gives us the vent to vent delta T split. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, those are the same place that uh, the probes go for measure quick. Um, really important to understand the how the system is heating or cooling, mm -hmm. um, and you get both obviously with those locations. Um, and the this filter is, this sensor. Is just dry bulb temperature. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, well, so and also you're getting pressure um, as okay. well. So we oh, actually really? see the change in pressure through the filter over time. Okay. So yeah. we give the homeowner a, a percentage readout of the air filter. Okay. Um, people wow. don't really. They're not a profit center usually, but if you can get a homeowner to to utilize the software and the platform for that, then you're more likely to make sure your your uh, logo is in front of them in that app, right? Nice. Month yeah. in, month out. Sure. Um, so we send monthly reports of the health of the system to the homeowner okay. with some high level information and, and again the partner's brand front center. Okay. And then the last sensor is the water sensor that goes in the uh, drain pan. Okay. We actually have a riser so if it ever does get water it won't uh, flood the sensor. So you put it like this, you got some sensing at the bottom okay. um, and that's kind of just uh, how that works. Oh yeah, all right, yep. And you then it little just probes sends at the bottom. If you have a flood. That's it, yep. So, nice. um, and so really the, the beauty of it though is that you get a dashboard where you can see all of that uh, information in real time, right? Okay. So yeah. not real. I mean, usually our partners will geek out for like a few weeks and look at all the metrics of every cycle of the first 10 homes they put out. Sure. But eventually they're just gonna live in that leads area where yeah. we have a regression analysis, you know, machine learning model. We also created all this, uh, the data tra uh, signatures in a psychometric chamber with Intertech. So we okay. have multiple things looking at the data in real time to understand when something goes wrong. Okay. And then we float it to the top in the dashboard when we see that. Nice. Uh, and then it's a different approach to the homeowner, right? You call and say, hey, we put these sensors in a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And we haven't reached out because everything's been fine. Yeah. But yesterday, your performance dropped off a cliff, and today it got worse, right? Right. So how right. would you like us to, this is the to, to handle this? Yeah, exactly, here. right? Yeah. So it's a different proactive approach, Sure. you know, hoping to, to eliminate the outage completely, right? right? And, and make sure that you are handling it maybe in an off-peak time so that yeah. you can be taking new customers in those peak days. Nice. Okay. So talk to me about what you were uh, saying about maintenance contracts, like this being a, a, a cell. If I'm a contractor, how can this be a good idea for my business? Yeah, so that's really where I live usually, is I get involved with, the, with our partners to help them grow their maintenance uh, businesses. So, okay. so three ways that people use this, uh, the main three ways. Number one, take your existing plans and make them better and more attractive, sexier, yeah. right? Yeah. So take a two visit plan, add this on it, have it be a premium plan, yeah. right? A lot of our partners are leaning into understanding that if they can see the health of the system, 365 days, yeah. they don't really have to be there twice a year, right? right? Okay. And so, you know, Jim's a big proponent of that as well, but, but going once a year to do everything you need to do to keep the warranty intact, yeah. and then watch it the other 364 days, right? Yeah. And then a lot of people say no to maintenance. 
And when they do, having a very low cost monitoring only option allows you to get that main value, which is just being the company of record. So talk right? about low cost. What, what's the cost for this? Yeah, so, so when four years ago we started working on this, yeah. we interviewed all the companies that had used the other products in the market, right? Okay. And yeah. we said, look, you've deployed a dozen, you've deployed 50, right? Sure. Why are you not doing more? And everyone, everyone said, it costs too much, right? And it takes too long to install. Yeah. Okay. And so we set out to solve those two issues, right? Yeah. So I can do it, the physical installation in it's five minutes, yeah. right? I and then that. you put it online, so maybe 10 total. Yeah. And then the cost wise, we, we race to the bottom, right? So it's, it's zero for hardware at 10 bucks a month for the service. Okay. So the hardware is included, an ongoing oh, wow. warranty on the hardware, everything for 10 bucks a month. Wow. Um, and there's a two-year commitment because, of course, uh, there has to be some things sure. when we're giving all the hardware away, effectively. Um, yeah. But 10 bucks a month, and that allows you to bundle it in your plan, sell smart maintenance with one visit maybe, do monitoring sure. only. We're seeing a lot of people subsidize it into homes, especially when they have older equipment. Yeah. I mean, if I told you you could spend $480 over four years on an eight-year-old system to be standing there to sell it when it was 12 years old, yeah. that pencils, right? If you're going to pay 300 bucks for a lead, you just paying 480 for a swing at a replacement is is a good connects us permanently with that's that it, customer. That's it. Okay. And yeah. so the batteries last a year, year and a half. We're we're improving that with the firmware now, but we also have a long life battery pack that will be about six or seven years. Okay. So if you decide to use monitoring only, you don't have to go back for batteries. Sure. The call motor doesn't have to worry about it. Uh, so the goal, everything we do, is how do we help our partners acquire more relationships yeah. and then maintain them as efficient as possible, mm -hmm. and then put them in that position to sell that big ticket item, which is what butters the bread of the entire industry, yeah. right? So. so speaking of relationships, I've heard uh, you and Jim talking about, Jim was talking about this too. You guys yeah. are just working together, figuring out. Yeah, so we, we first showed this to Jim uh -huh. uh, about a year ago. Uh -huh. uh, he's obviously big into data and we yeah, print. Jim Bergerman, just in case you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe, but yeah. If he's approving of this, I mean, that's a pretty big sell, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, we were really excited to hear that, that the, the the thesis we had about just enough data, like what's yeah. not not what data can we get, but, but what data must we get to accomplish this business objective, sure. right? And that boiled down to these sensors, and we thought we had that right, but it was really exciting to hear that Jim agreed. Yeah, uh, and, these, and, and, and those are the points of comfort for a homeowner. That's like, it. That's it. That's it. And it's also not only is it the best way to understand the work being done by the system, mm -hmm. it's the thing the homeowner understands the most, right? right? So it's see that little sensor up there when that temperature changes. We'll know, right? Yeah. So it's really, it, yeah. it ties in well with the adoption of the homeowners because yeah. they can relate to that. Yeah, being right. able to sell that is going to be really easy. Yeah, so we're excited. We just finished the integration with uh, MeasureQuick uh, wow. fully. So as you're going through that, that process, you can onboard customers with our product as well. The sensors go in the same places where the probes go. So it really works well. And obviously, Jim's been really big about uh, commissioning with measure quick yeah. and then mm -hmm. but it, but the, but Set base system up right well, but baselining right. only has value if you can compare to the baseline sure. right and so being able to compare to it when you're there once a year is one thing being able to compare to it 365 right. has a lot more value yeah for in sure. being proactive right so for sure I love it that's pretty exciting yeah thanks that, yeah we're, the first we're thing excited. I noticed was just how simple it is to install but then how simple the concept is too so I can sell this and uh, really, what you said about only watching the bare minimum, yeah. like there's less that can go wrong in this process. If you have tons of sensors all over, you could have sensor failures, you could have other stuff going on with some of the other monitoring equipment, which is great to have all those points of data if that's what you need on a piece of equipment. But for your average customer and their home, yeah. and upgrading maybe their maintenance plan or downgrading to only this, something yeah. like that, yeah. Well, I love the, it. the main thing you need is adoption, cool. right? It doesn't matter how good the product is sure. if you can't get it in homes, right? Yeah. So we started with what do we have to do to let people deploy it at scale? Yeah. And then with that amount, like what what can we go get enough of the data to accomplish the business objective, right? Yeah. But it really is as much of a sales product and a customer acquisition product as a data product. Mm -hmm. It does both, right? But I, you know, our team, we have half of our team focused on making the thing great with yeah. the data. And then we have the other side helping our partners grow their businesses by utilizing it, right? Mm -hmm. So two very 
different things, both important to uh, to the growth. So then uh, what happens is you have a, an app or a, an account and you get alerts or notifications yeah. when there's problems. Yep. So the then... homeowner has an app where they can see some high level stuff, filters, okay. filter uh, water leaks, things like that. Okay. Um, but then the dashboard gives our partners uh, everything in the dashboard, right? Okay. So you yeah. can dive into the metrics of every single cycle Sure. all year long, whatever you want. Usually what happens is you geek out for a few weeks and then you just live in the leads area. Sure. And so you see a lead pop to the pop to the top, you click on it, you look at the data. Oh yeah, that's definitely, you know, the split's down eight degrees, right? Yeah. And, and, and it was eight degrees different at 85 degrees last week versus yeah. today, right? Right. And maybe you snooze it for a day and you come back tomorrow and say, oh, it's still that bad. Okay, let me call Ms. Jones, right? Yeah. So we give you all that information that you need in the dashboard yeah. to be nice. able to be confident to pick up the phone. Yeah. Right? And then Ms. Jones can actually look at it in an app See and say, oh, yourself. that is bad. Come on out, right? Yeah. So like, like zero, feet, running zero feet truck and rolls are a big yeah. deal, right? Yeah. And so we try to eliminate that with the, with the sure. visibility. That's great. I love it. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for showing up and yeah. helping be a part of this event, put it on. I mean, uh, hopefully you get something back out of all this. But, oh, it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Love it. Thank you, Bert. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, you can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.